Hey, it's James, the unofficial mayor of Cowboy Country, and I am here in Springfield, Missouri. This is Missouri State. Now, they have come to see us in Stillwater, and so I uh, saw the sign. I'm headed to Arkansas, and I was like, well, you know, I want to see what they have. So I'm going to try to do a quick video here and walk around and um, go from there. Before you knock Missouri State, you know, this is a smaller school, you know, although I look to my left, that's their library. That's, that's a pretty nice looking building. So. What we got here? We come around. You know. That's pretty cool. That's a nice picture. It's pretty well marked as far as. Okay. I like how open it is. You can see everything. Well, they've had some success. They've won some conference championships. The flag is interesting. I don't know if I like it or not. I do like the gate. Let's see. That's pretty cool. The flag, I don't know. OU does something similar. And of course, I don't want to be a hypocrite because I, I got one just like it, except it's orange and black and it's got the OSU logo in the corner. Now, the bear statue, that's pretty cool. I like this. This was whoever Darren and Donna Hemin are. Okay, so... Let's see here. You got you got a good section there with chair backs. I like how down below, like right there, those look like sweet. Those look like sweets. See, our sweets are way up high. Theirs are much closer to the field. That's that's interesting. I like it. Okay, and then you got over here. I don't see any chair backs on that side. Unfortunately, they, neither end zone is bowled in. Uh, although they probably could do it on this side if they if they wanted to, because there's space, you know. But. I don't know how, I guess that's one of their, uh, living, oh, they got a couple more bears over there, statues. Let me come around here. Uh, really need to hurry up. Not that you need to know that I need to use the restroom. <laughs> Hey, I'll be 50 in a couple months. So. <laughs> Comes with the territory. <laughs> Although I have, I will say this: I have been, I have been drinking more water. All right, so I'm assuming this side is a little bit nicer than the other side. That's typical what they do with. A lot of football stadiums but it's not really facing the the street it's not but you know that's giant logo that's pretty cool you know I mean it's concrete it's 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 you it's very utilitarian but at the same time it's gonna last a long time too now the stair those, that, that's cool, I like it. Welcome to Bearville. Where do the bears live? Okay. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. 
no outside food or drink, yeah, gotcha, you know, they didn't want, okay, you got advertisements for, for beer, so they do sell alcohol here, I was kind of hoping with a smaller stadium that they might, it might be open, nope, oh, tickets, good, interesting oh, I guess this is an another uh, I don't know if it's for classrooms or if it's for students to live there all right and come around here I mean, I mean for kind of odd uh, even um, Tulsa stadiums bigger than this but you got to keep in mind, you know, they build stadiums to meet the needs of their fans and their alumni. You know, that's what the, that's what it's all about. This is kind of cool. Older stone. You know. I don't know if you could sit up there. Eh, if I boosted myself up, I probably could sit on that. But it's kind of place... At least across the street, they got plenty of parking. That's good. You know. And I like this. I like what they did on the back of the Jumbotron. Bears Unite. There you go. And then you got an advertisement. Yeah, but, you know, when you're a small, when you're a small school, you, you need sponsors. You need more money coming into the athletic department. That creates revenue. Helps pay the bills. And even in a school like this, where this stadium holds approximately 17,500, you know, football pays for most of the athletic department. I, lo I do love how up top... The sections are really well marked. You, triple A, triple B, triple C, triple D, triple E. And down here you got A, B, C, D, E, F. Oh, you got A, B, C, D, E, F on the bottom row. In the 100 section, most likely. But it's well marked. Now, could they use a ribbon board? Yeah, that would help some. Um... I would say if they could bowl this end zone in, that would help. Oh, I still have it on three. Sorry. If they could bowl this end zone in, that would help them out a lot because remember the overtime rule. So what you want to do, you know, the overtime they start, they stay on. Both teams are going towards the same end zone during the overtime. So. You want to have one end zone bowled in so that that end zone, if you go to overtime, that end zone is loud. And so it gives you that home field advantage um, if you have to play overtime. I do like the pictures, you know, they're trying to talk, you know, emphasize the the history and yeah. You know. Anyway, I'm going to uh, get a little bit of this Robert W. Plaster. Steve. Yeah. I really like how this area is is covered. Like, you could, like, if it's raining out, you could come kind of hang out here for a little while and get dry, you know. But, um, let me get back to the car and uh, we'll wrap it up. Well, I mean, that's interesting. Um, clearly it's not as 
nice as some of the schools that I've visited before, but uh, it's a decent looking campus. And, um, you know, it has potential. I mean, it's a lot like Kansas in the sense that, you know, with all that concrete is your, you know, there's no exposed metal. There's no exposed metal beams. All of the support structure is concrete. So you can build around it. You can do something with that. That um, So, that, like I said, it has potential. Uh, I would pull in one of the end zones just because of the overtime rule. And that gives you that extra home field advantage. You're, you're forcing the other team to try to score on the end of the field that has more fans. And they're going to be loud. They're going to be crazy. And here I would stick as many students as I can in there to make noise and, and try to disrupt the other team's offense. So uh, if you are new to the channel, please hit like and subscribe. Uh, I am on my way to Arkansas. Uh, hopefully you've watched some of the other videos that I've done over this last four, four day weekend. Uh, uh, Tulsa, KU, Kansas State, uh, Iowa, Iowa State, Nebraska, uh, Missouri, uh, and then I'm going to uh, Arkansas and then I'm headed home. So there's a lot of good material. Uh, don't forget the fact that next month, or not, it is January. In two weeks, I'll be in Florida. So I'm going to do UCF, Florida, Florida State, and Miami, God willing. So anyway, I just want to say thank you for watching. And uh, as always, go Pokes.